The Ninth Asia Europe meeting kicks off in Laos capital Vientiane. President Thein Sein, along with other members of the ASEM, gathered at the National Convention Center for the two-day summit. It's expected to focus on free trade and the Eurozone debt crisis, but leaders are criticizing Burma on human rights issues in the country's border regions, especially in Arakan State, where sectarian violence has displaced an estimated 100,000 people. The 52 ASEM members make up more than half of the world's GDP, and four of the five largest economies in the world are located in both regions. Thein Sein joins 42 other heads of state and governments from Europe and Asia. Pakistan's Prime Minister told participants his country had been plagued by poverty and that cooperation between the two regions was needed now more than ever. Both Asia and Europe have gone through the financial crisis during the recent years. It is time for both to learn from these harsh realities. The economies of many countries are even today very of the Eurozone economic turbulence. The President of the European Council said he was looking forward to strengthening ties. We are currently negotiating a number of free trade agreements with Asian partners, with some of them we already have, and with the aim to increase further market access and job opportunities with mutual benefit. A brief ceremony was held to welcome Bangladesh, Switzerland and Norway into the ASEM Forum. The Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, said her country recognises the mutual interests and challenges faced by Asia and Europe. Between Asia and Europe, there is diversity and differences, but there is also a mutuality of interest. In the contemporary world, economic interdependence between our two continents remains substantial, substantial and it continues to grow. Heads of state from Europe and Asia, along with the presidents of the European Council and European Commission and the Secretary General of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, joined the biennial summit. Other topics high on the agenda include strengthening cooperation between the regions and maintaining peace and stability.